Oh yeah. It's hot chocolate season. What up, what up, what is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. What up, what up? Oh yeah. We got some farming to do today, and we have a special, special stream. Sorry if I'm a little loud, actually. Sorry about that. Um, special stream today, because we got a special piece of hardware that just came in this week. The uh, Thrustmaster Farm Stick. And so we're in Farming Simulator. What up, Greg Feaster? Welcome to the stream. Yes, sir. Let me see those tractor emojis in the chats if you guys are ready for harvest time. As always, you can expect a chill stream, but we got a lot of work to do today, so let's get started. Yeah. What up, Two Song BCS? Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying warm out there. I got my hot, hot cocoa. Toast to the chat. Toast to the chat, guys. What up, Craig? What up, Emily? Welcome to the stream. It is, uh, it feels weird that Thrustmaster made a joystick for farming unless you're just using a 320 joystick for this. No, 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 we're using, we're, we're legit using a Thrustmaster farm stick today. Uh, I do also have my Flight Sim Airbus stick with me today as well. Uh, we'll only be using the farm stick for today's stream, but I have it here in case anybody has any questions about the Flight Sim version. It's actually pretty nice though. Two song BCS, you like this game? I like it too, man. I do. All right, so uh, we're just kind of sitting here staring at our uh, <laughs> our tractor right now, our John Deere. Let me, uh, so we got some things to do today. Um, as, as I said, obviously we're rocking the Thrustmasters brand new farm stick. It comes available uh, on November 15th, but you can pre-order it now. Um, and I have links in the YouTube description for that uh as well as the steering kit that i have right here as well uh which allows you to mount your steering wheel kind of like upright kind of like a tractor which is really cool honestly i never thought to like do that in my home setup but like it makes sense you know if you're driving tractors or, or things like that then or tr even tr some some trucks as well uh it does actually make sense so i'm bringing the music down just a little bit here and uh we're gonna vibe out and do some uh do some uh field work Actually, not even that. We have a, a harvest coming up. Uh, I'm gonna harvest some wheat, so I'm gonna have to get the uh, the harvester ready, and uh, we'll do that. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. I'm gonna zoom out here. Mikey D, what's up, bro? Welcome to the stream, and hope you're doing well. Hope you are doing well. And. Uh, by the way, if you haven't noticed, you probably haven't, I don't know, but I have a ton of mods. <laughs> As always, every game that I play, I have a ton of mods. So, uh, Farming Sim is no different at all. Apparently, it just started raining as well. Oh, nice. Emily, you have Farming Sim as well? Cool. Sweet. Um, so, I'm on single player right now. Let's uh, get going here. Actually, what we need to do first is just go ahead and uh, fast forward until tomorrow, because tomorrow is actually harvest day. Um, so I'm on my single player's career save right now uh, on the Stone Valley uh, map. We're going to do nice and early, 7 a.m. Nice and bright and early start. Um, so we could do multiplayer. I'm down if, uh, if you want to do multiplayer. The thing is, is I have a lot of mods. So if you're willing to get all the mods that I'm using, then I... Can, I will consider, I will consider making a multiplayer session, um, but I wasn't expecting to, for anyone to join me as, as of in the game today, so we're just doing our own thing. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, it is officially the 1st of July, and I have actually um, been working this, uh, this field for a while, so honestly, it kind of sucks because you guys weren't able to come along with me and, and actually kind of watch the journey and actually appreciate all that we have to go through to get to this beautiful golden 
field that we have in front of us, uh, which is wheat right now. But uh, but yeah, it's it's been a journey. It's been a journey. I've not made any videos on this particular save like at all. So I've just been kind of playing it on my own time. Was never really intending to make a video or even do multiplayer with it, which is the reason why I have so many freaking mods. So before we get started, I think it just makes sense to kind of do a, a bit of a tour of my farm and then we'll do some harvesting. How about that guys? If you have any questions, you can feel free to drop them in the chat as always. Um, and let's, we're, just gonna, we're just gonna fast travel over to our, uh, our gator. Here we go. That works. Hold on a second. There we go. We'll turn the music down a little bit. All right, cool, cool, cool. Turn the game sound up a little bit. I like to hear me some engines like that. And there we go, all right. Let's turn it on. Yeah, I have a lot of mods. I don't have like a list of the mods that I'm using though. But you know, how about this, Emily? How about this? Let's, let's uh, plan for next time, all right? I don't, because when it gets to multiplayer, it's fun, but if you don't have it set up ahead of time, it can be a headache to make sure you have all the mods, you have all the servers set up, stuff like that. So uh, I just want to make sure. All right, so here on my right, you know, what, we'll start down here. Do a bit of a tour. This is a, the name of my farm is whoa. <laughs> the, name, the name of my farm is Blue Stone Valley. Very original, because uh, we are on the Stone Valley uh, map on farming sim. It's a massive map. I can actually show you here. Can I? Let me see. Yeah, it's a massive map with some massive fields. And that's kind of what I was looking for with this particular map was like really nice, well-designed uh, map, but like with some really big fields because the small fields just don't feel realistic, right? So this is the start of my property here on the right. So we own all of this. So on my right, we have uh, this is, what is this again? Sugar meal. We have two sugar meals. So what I'm basically doing is I have sugar beet and I'm putting the sugar beet into the sugar meal and I'm creating sugar and then that sugar is being transfer, uh, transferred to my dairy and my dairy is making chocolate. So basically it's Blue's Chocolate Factory. <laughs> it's what all of this is. This whole farm is really about Blue's Chocolate Factory. So you get a massive sugar beet um, thing. So right there, that's my milk truck. So I have my own milk that I'm um, getting from my cows, which we'll see later. You see there's a bunch of chocolate packaged up right there and ready for delivery already and then a bunch of extra ex excess uh sugar we got going on this is my sugar beet harvester on the right it's a massive machine and then i can't remember what that other thing is next to it i think i think all of this to my right here is all everything on my right is basically to the production of sugar beets <laughs> so i have a massive sugar beet operation going on and you can see there's a bunch of uh, silos as well, which is where I store a bunch of my crops. On the left, as we turn around here. Yeah, Emily, search up Stone Valley uh, as a uh, map mod. Make sure you have that mod so that we can play multiplayer next time. So this on my right is my sugar beet... Um, what do you call it? Sugar beet uh, field. That's what I should say. Sugar beet field. It's fairly big. Yeah, definitely not small. And uh, that takes quite a while to harvest because you, the, the sugar beets are basically a root crop. It's kind of like a potato. It's weird to say that, but it's kind of like a potato. And so it takes a lot of space. It's very heavy. What's up, Rogue Family? Welcome to the stream, man. Titan in the chat. What's up, Titan McDonald? Welcome aboard, man. Good to see you, as always. Yes, yeah, Stone Valley 22. That is correct, Emily. Stone Valley. Right, and then again, here as we saw earlier, this is my wheat field, which is ready to harvest. So we'll be harvesting that today. We'll see if we can get it all knocked out today before we uh, finish the stream. On the left, though, I have um, corn that's still growing. It's not yet ready. I think the corn will be ready next month uh, in August, I believe. So we got wheat over there on the right, which is ready to go. And we got corn on the left. Uh, we'll come back to like my my main farmhouse and all this where all my equipment is here in a second. Uh, we're gonna first go check out the uh, the animals that we got. 
Uh, Rogue fam, what's up, man? My specs are down in the description, bro, at the very bottom. But uh, I can actually tell you as well. I have a RTX 4090 and a uh, what was my thing? Um, Intel i9 13,900K, I think it was called. As well as a Z790 motherboard, DDR5, 64 gigs of RAM, all that stuff. All right, so over here is my main silo, and then here's like a, a what do they call it, a, a fruit silo? I don't know. I can get anything I want out of that thing right there. And then this is actually not mine. I don't own those houses. Uh, they pay me rent. <laughs> On the left, we got my pigs, which really haven't done anything. I don't really know. I'm still new to pig farming, so I don't really know what to do with them so i just been giving them like random stuff and they're alive so i guess i'll do something right you hear him oinking on the right is another production facility this is my grain mill yeah my grain mill and this is basically producing flour so all of the wheat that we're gonna harvest today is actually gonna end up right over there in that uh, silo and it's going to over time produce flour and that flour we could either sell to the bakery or we could you know maybe pre you know add it to production to create like cakes or bread or whatever we want to do so we'll turn around and uh, behind me you can see i have a few semi trucks with trailers i obviously have a pretty big production here so i need a lot of space a lot of trailers uh to fill all that with you'll see that later when we pick up um when we pick up uh, the wheat on the right this is also my land and this is also some uh some corn that i i planted many many months ago <laughs> and um it's also gonna be ready next month so we have a lot of corn to harvest next month so the harvest is gonna be going like crazy so honestly it would be great to do this in multiplayer because in that case we would actually uh, have some help and be able to knock this out much faster. So it's going to take me a while to do all that. But it's a massive, massive... Just look how big it is. Massive cornfield. This is actually my biggest field that I own as of right now. There's my ATV right behind us. Uh, well, I mean, we're going to eventually, like, I guess, butcher the pigs and sell them. But I don't... Yeah. I haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> I haven't gotten that far. All right. We'll go this way. So yeah, look, look at that. You, from here, you can kind of see just how big all that, all the way to that, that um, wind fan and beyond is all my cornfield. So it's a massive field. Uh, do I use AI? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely use AI. There's no way I could run this whole thing by myself. If it was multiplayer, it would be a different story, you know what I mean? But since... I've been mainly, honestly, I shouldn't say mainly, I have been doing all this myself. Um, so that's, hold on, sorry, that's half of it. And then over here is the rest of it. <laughs> there it is. So lots of corn. Um, it's still growing. It's doing pretty good. Last time out, uh, I did some weeding. Matter of fact, there's a few weeds right there in front of us, but I'm not going to worry about that. I had to de weed it herbicide and all that stuff like that all right over here is uh where my cows and mainly all my cat my dairy cows live so i feed them in there i get the slurry back there and then back here is where all the cows hang out so again i'm pretty new to uh raising animals in farming sims so these are my my first cows and they're actually pretty darn healthy. Uh, oh, I, th I think they are. Hopefully they are. Let's see. <laughs> are they healthy? Are they healthy? Uh, animals. So I have 60 cows? Yeah, 60 cows. Oh, yeah. 100% health. They got plenty of food. Yeah, I just fed them yesterday. So um, they should be good. I spent a little bit of time doing that rogue family what's up man you have uh, been enjoying the train sim videos thank you so much man i really appreciate that uh titan how much is the steering wheel and joystick thing you are using together so the joystick i believe is 99 hold on let me look you, you're asking me for numbers you guys know i don't remember prices for stuff uh dang i gotta go to the website and all of that 
Actually, I think it's my email. Uh, Titan was asking, how much is the the the, uh, the uh, joystick and everything? So I'm just trying to find out here. Uh, so the, yeah, so the farm stick is ninety nine ninety nine, and then the steering kit is seventy nine ninety nine, which is this over here. So the actual wheel is not included. All right, just keep that in mind, people. I want to make sure that's very clear because when I first heard of this whole setup, I thought that the steering wheel came with the steering kit, but it does not. The steering kit, which is this metal bracket down here that mounts to my wheel, um, is sold separately to the actual steering wheel. All right, so we're going to head back. That's um, the animal part of my farm. I'll show you my farmhouse, and then we'll get started with the harvesting. It's going to take some time, hopefully not too long, but we'll see. Hopefully you guys are down the ride. But um, I already had the wheel. Uh, so all they had to do was send me the steering kit. And I just mounted it on there. Uh, by the way, I did just post a video, a review. Or not review, sorry. It's a first look at the steering kit and farm stick together as a video on YouTube. So you can feel free to watch that. It would be a much shorter version than watching an entire live stream. But I'm pretty excited. It is harvest time. And so now I get to finally show you guys. I've always I've always wanted to show you guys my farm. I just never made any videos or do any streams of it. But now I get to show you. So right here on our right, as you can see, Stone Valley Farm. AKA Blue Stone Valley Farm. Uh, you want to know a money glitch? No, I'm good. I'm good. I got plenty of money. I got a nice investment before uh, when I first set up this farm, and now I'm just living off of that money. So, I don't need any more money, but I appreciate the help, man. I do appreciate it. Alright, we're just going to park our gator over here in the grass. And I'll show you guys around a little bit. And then we'll get started. So, again, this is my farmhouse. Right here. And I got my little pickup truck that I parked right in front of it. It needs a wash. Pretty much everything needs a wash. Uh, this is a little barn I have, which is actually empty, I believe. Can I open this door? Yeah, I can. Why am I so tall? Okay. Uh, I have my uh, precision farming equipment in here. It's literally the only thing in here right now. I don't use that farmhouse. It's kind of small for a lot of the equipment that I use, which you'll see here in just a second. Can I close the door? There it goes. All right, so over here is uh, part of my shed. So I have my, we're actually gonna need this right here uh, to harvest the corn. So we have our, our um, harvest, what do you call it? Our header right here. We have a flatbed that I use to bring all the equipment here from the shop. Uh, then we have a planter, I believe that's, yeah, it's one of my planters. Here's another planter. <laughs> uh, and then here is a roller. And then this is a, uh, for lime, for laying down lime. Here's one of my, um, older trucks my massy ferg and then we'll keep walking over here what's up void tech welcome to the stream this is farming simulator 22 farming simulator 22 uh this is i think this is another planner or what is this i can't remember i haven't used this in a while i think this is another yeah this is another planner how many planners do i have jesus uh this is a cultivator for uh you know cultivating the field this over here is my mulch Mulcher, where I will be using that today as well. And this is for de-weeding. So if you have weeds in the field, you can drag that through the field to hopefully pick up some of the weeds. It's a bit empty in here right now, but usually I have all my equipment in here. Uh, Ryan Hudson, welcome to the stream, man. Yeah, man. I mean, even if you just have a steering wheel and pedals, it's pretty fun to, to rock around in, a, in the farming sim with that. All right, so here is my John Deere 8R410. I think... Do I have two of those? Is both of them the 8R? Anyway, that's one of them. And we got another John Deere truck tractor over here. And this one is... Yep, so they're both 8Rs. How long How long have I been playing Farming Sim? Uh, let's see, on Steam I have... Whoa. <laughs> whoa. I have 397 hours um, <laughs> on Steam on Farming Sim. I accumulated since I downloaded it. Was it a year or two ago that it came out? 
And then here's our harvester that we'll be using today. For today's harvest, we'll be using the John Deere X9 1100. So let's hop into that. And there's one thing I need to set up on my joystick that I forgot to do before the stream. Uh, Ace, you soon walk to the stream, man. Put this on a server. Let's get a crew together for a three hour stream and drinks. Uh, get a pressure wash. You know, I actually, I don't think I have a pressure washer. You're right. I think I don't have a pressure washer. Uh, yeah, I would love to. I would love to do this. Uh, on multiplayer, but I don't have any farming friends, so I just do my thing on my own. Um, but if we get enough people, I could do that. Uh, let's see. So what I need to do is go to controls here. Hold on. This joystick and steering wheel is sold out already. Are you serious? Oh my god! Pre-order literally just started. What? A couple of days ago? There's no way. Are you did the joystick and steering wheel already get sold out? That's that's great. Um that the community like it so much that they're buying it, you know what I mean? Uh, but wow, I'm surprised that it sold out that fast. Yeah, that is great too, you're right. Uh farming sim is crop cross platform as well. Alright, so we're going to my controls. So the th farm stick is plug and play. So whenever you get yours, if you decide to buy it or pick it up or whatever, um, whenever you get yours. All you gotta do is plug it into your PC, because it's PC only, sadly, right now. And all of the controls are automatically mapped. Now, my controls have been customized um, based off of that. I'm gonna be looking for, let's see, it's gonna be up here. Here it is. So we'll use this here and here. There we go. And you're gonna see what I'm gonna do here in a second. I had to turn that off earlier because of reasons. So let's turn it on. There we go. It is very dirty in here. So harvesters don't use a brake pedal and throttle or, or uh, foot throttle. They actually use the joystick. So if you look down, you can see that to go forward, you push forward and to go back, you push back. I do have cruise control, so we don't have to just hold it the whole time. But what we need to do is uh, we need to drop this header off. So we're gonna do that first. Let me move the uh, move this chat out of the way here. I can't see anything. There we go. I'm just gonna like set it over here. I am I'm I'm legit really excited about harvest. I've been I've been taking care of these fields for a while. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and drop this. So I'm just gonna lower it. I think this is the lower. No, it is uh I, I still gotta remember the button commands here. Unfold. Nope. Nope. Man, I really forgot the buttons that fast. Uh oh, what did I do? Oh, I know why. Oh, crap. I unfolded the wrong thing. I unfolded the outside. I don't want that. <laughs> Again, before, honestly, before getting this uh, this joystick, I was always using a mouse and keyboard for farm sim. So I'm going to swap to the other piece of equipment, and then we'll drop it. There we go. It's dropped. Did I hear that Farm Sim 24 came out a few months ago? No. What are you talking about? There's no Farm Sim 24. You mean did they announce a Farm Sim 24? Or are you saying they released a Farm Sim 24? Those are two very different things. Alright, I'm gonna go over here. On Nintendo, that's weird. All right, let's get it lined up here. It should allow us to just like attach, even though it's on the thing. Yep, there we go. All right, she's attached. All right, it is harvest time. Where should we start? Uh, I think I might. So we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna get an AI helper to help us out. Because there's a lot of wheat here. And, and we could start here. 
Yeah, we get AI helper to help us out. How many mods do I have installed? A lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. A lot. If I were to restart this session, you can see how many mods I have installed. I have a course play and a bunch of other stuff. Course play is what I use the most. I have a lot of auto load mods. Not as many mods as some people may have, but I do have a decent amount of mods. Uh oh, that's not what I want to do. Oh, that's weird. All right, so we are uh, harvesting field two. So I have, I should have a course play track I created. Yep, Stone Valley field two. Do I have one for harvesting? Oh, apparently I don't have one for harvesting. We can make one. So if you guys are unfamiliar, uh, most people, most of you may know if you're into farming sim, but course play is a um, a mod that allows you to create like driving tracks around your fields to save you time and allow the AI to uh, kind of like take care of your fields in a way that you want them to. So I'm going to create a new track here for our field, uh, which is field two. We'll go create a job. Let's switch to CP field work, field uh, position will be two. And let's try to go for a uh, target position will be over here. There we go. And it will open the course generator. We'll do uh, three headlands. And then I think that should be good. We'll do, uh, should we do sharp? Let's do sharp. It will generate that course. I'm not sure if I need to do anything special because this is a harvester, but we'll leave that as is. All right, cool. So that's good to go. We'll close that out. We will go back to the other screen here and we're going to save that course. So I can use that next season. So apparently this is the first like harvest I've done of this particular field. I think uh, we'll hit save course under F2 and this is going to be harvest. Harvest course one. Okay. Now I'm going to do some of this myself, but then we're going to hand it over to the AI because, you know, time management and things. Okay. That should be good to go. Uh, we're now, should we just back out of this and I can right click and start from first point. And now I can actually turn this on. You can see my entire track. So this is basically like the track that is created. So the, um, the vehicle, whatever vehicle I'm in, will follow this track and do the work for that field until it's done. Um, so that's what I just set up, but we'll use that later. For now, I'll I'll get it started. Because the whole point is I have not done a harvest yet with this setup, and I've been wanting to. So I want to see how easier, how much easier it may or may not be. So let's go ahead and back up. Oh shoot, I forgot he was back there. Uh, I get a pressure washer. Bro, I ain't got time to pressure wash my equipment. It's always working. <laughs> when we do multiplayer, that'll be your job, Ace. <laughs> you'll, you'll be the pressure washer guy. I feel like I have one somewhere. I'm surprised I don't. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's not how I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I think. Yeah, this is not, <laughs> this is, this is not, this is not, it's just, it's just move this guy though, he's in the way. <laughs> the thing too about it is like, I kind of like dirty tractors, like that's, that's the, when, that's the tractors I think about, I think about dirty tractors, when I get it brand new, okay, cool, it's, it's new, but I like dirty tractors, personally, I pretty much only clean them when there's time for maintenance. I'm just gonna move this guy out of the way. Watch out. That's my fuel tank right there. And it's gonna leave him here. It's gonna boom out of the way. Uh oh. What did I do? Oh, I got stuck. Uh, where'd I go? Hold on, guys. Something's not right. Oh, okay. There we go. Why is this not locked?
Okay. Yeah, I agree. After you play Pharmacin for a while, um, as you progress through the game, you, you get bigger and bigger. You, you own bigger fields, you have more stuff going on, and it gets to a point where you need help. And my farm is way beyond that. <laughs> way beyond that. Okay, let's go. We're just going to drive through it. Screw it. I was going to try not to drive through it. Try to be realistic, but... I have uh, field crop destruction turned off for this exact reason. All right. Why well, is there a gap right in the middle? All right, we'll back up. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see from the inside view. Yeah, it is. I just forgot that I got to use a joystick to go forward and back. New move. Before we do it, I want to see how we did. So we we have um, precision farming turned on. So I had to do the whole nitrogen pH value of the field, the soil contents, all of that, and then you know do the fertilizer based on that, herbicide based on that. Like we did all that stuff to all these fields. So it's ready to harvest. Uh, it says potential yield is 5.61 tons per acre. Uh, it's a 17 acre lot. Uh, potential harvest quantity. 120,000 liters of wheat. That's cool. I've actually never noticed that field info before. Uh, our yield potential and ex expectation is 89% yield on this field, which is pretty solid. Uh, over here is actually even better. I have a... Actually, it's the same. 89, 82. Yeah, so... Alright, we're backing up traffic. Alright, how do I do this? So, we're going to first lower the header so there we go and we'll go ahead and open up the backside there we go go back to the front we can now turn it on oops sorry wrong button there it is and then we can lower it again. Wait, that's up. Is that low? Can't tell. Oh yeah, that's in there. All right, cool. All right, don't forget to go like this. All right, actually, I don't want that straw thing back there. I want it evenly spread out. So I'm not gonna go back and bail any hay off of this. Uh, which I think that I set a button for that. Nope, that's the pipe. Uh, I think it's this one. There it is. Yeah, uh, Baba Grill. It is kind of like a flight joystick. It's uh, but it's customized for farming. There we go. That's what I want. So again, driving these type of harvesters, you're gonna push forward on the on the stick to go forward, and then you'll pull back, obviously, to stop or, or go backwards. You still use the steering wheel. Want we'll to try to keep it as straight as possible, make it easy on ourselves. I'm not sure how much wheat we can hold in the back, but eventually we're going to have to um, offload into a truck. And I can also hit the autopilot or the uh, autopilot, the cruise control. There it is. And I can go hands off of that. And now we're doing our thing. And you can actually see the wheat in the back. That's so cool. <laughs> That's actually so cool. I never noticed I could see it in the window. Alright, don't miss it. Come to the right a little bit. Yeah, 
this baby, she needs to clean for sure. I probably should have cleaned it on the off season. This hall wrestler is about to be going non-stop from now until the end of the uh, end game year. Because right after we finish with the what I, right right after we finish with the wheat harvest, that field on our right is gonna have to get uh, harvested. It'll be ready to go. All right, we are only sixty percent full. Yeah, I know that Ace. Um, I know you can g gather all the straw and uh, and sell it, but again, since I've been doing this all by myself, I just I don't. It, it's so much work. <laughs> I used to do that, honestly. That's what I used to do. I used to when I, when I first started farming simulator on my very first save game. What I used to do was that I would, I mean, I would every field has something going all year long. If it was off season for a field, I had grass going on over there. Um, with the wheat and corn fields, I get um, I would bail them up to make hay and whatnot. But it's cool. It's a, you know, it's a different. It's more gameplay, but it's just too much. If I you know, if we're doing multiplayer, heck yeah, man. Um, but since this is, since this has been my single player game this whole time, I've just, I've been trying to limit the amount of extra task I give myself. All right, just put autopilot back on, just like that. Yeah, you get it, Ace. Just like you were saying earlier, like the farther you get in game, the more workload you get, and with fields the size that I have right now to do the harvesting and then go back and have to pick up all the all the straw is just too much now it's a different story if I want to do that uh, or if I just want to uh, make money that's one thing I do recommend people do though like if you are just starting out with a new save game and you want to make some extra money you can either do the contracts obviously or you know once you harvest a field or whatever um, you can uh, plant grass there and it makes some pretty good money on bailing uh, hay and stuff like that. I keep forgetting to use a joystick to drive. It's just so different, right? All right, that should be good. I want to get that lined up over there. We're going outside because it's really hard to see in here. It's just dirty as heck. I really probably should have washed it before we start the stream. <laughs> Alright, that's good. So the way I know I'm on I'm on point is my wheel in the grass over there. There we go. Alright, we are 96% full, so we're gonna have to get uh We're gonna have to get unloaded here in just a few seconds. And then once we unload, I'll probably let the AI continue this. Possibly. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. Right, let's back it up. And we'll bring out the truck. Go ahead and open up the pipe. Sweet, you rogue. You joined Discord? Thanks, man. Yeah, Formation Sim is such a great uh, multiplayer game. It really is. I've, I've done multiplayer before. I've done it before. And it's a lot of fun. Especially when it comes to harvesting, because harvesting, you need somebody on in a truck driving alongside of you, um, catching all the all the grain and stuff like that. All right, let's go back to the map and go find my semi truck. And we're going to start offloading some of this stuff. All right, which one is it? I can't remember which one I was using. Yeah, that one's for pallets and that one is for everything else. So we'll hop in this guy. Is it empty? Yep, it's empty. And it's clean! Matter of fact, I just bought this one. So, for those who are like, bro, clean your trucks. This one's good to go. It's brand new. Has zero hours on it. Look at that. What's up? I love Jesus Christ. Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we're gonna flip around this way. Give me a bit of a tight turn. Can we make it? Can we make it? Yeah, we got it.
Yeah, Paul, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. There's a lot you don't know about me, man. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. Welcome back, Zach Hamilton. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, my G. Welcome to Blue Stone Valley. Just harvesting some wheat. And uh, for the first time, uh, getting a chance to harvest with my new farm sticker. I have been doing some logging and stuff, so if you guys want to see logging, we can go and jump onto my uh, my logging save. It's a different save, different map. Alright, so here's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't park in a way that's easy for me to really reach it, so I'm going to flip around. Yeah, I feel you, man. I feel you, Zach. I I'm the same way, man. I I for farming some, I've been off and on. You know, I haven't been playing nonstop. I have, I think, think we looked at it earlier, 300 and something hours in it, but that's been off and on since it came out. All right, let's go outside, make sure we're underneath. There we go. But I play so many, I play so many different games and farming and, and simulators. And uh, I'll get hung up on farming sim for a while, which I am right now. I'll probably be playing this one for at least a month <laughs> uh, or so before I get distracted by something else. So this, I think this drain truck, I can't remember how much it can hold, but I remember buying the one that can hold like almost the most. So we, sh yep, there it is. We're good right there. So we already basically filled that up. We can hop out of this truck. And again, if you were using multiplayer, you guys who play Farm Sim already know this, but um, talking to those who don't play this game or don't know much about it, but if um, if you were playing in multiplayer, you could have another person in that truck right next to us, and that person could literally just ride alongside of you and uh, and catch all the grain as you drive by. And you can kind of set the AI to do that as well. Um, it's a bit tricky though. And we'll do that a little bit later. I'll set the AI to do the harvesting and I'll just run the truck. Uh, you used to be a part of a server with five other guys on there, would farm for hours. Uh, the pedals do come with the steering wheel. Yes, if you get the T248, which is the one I have, uh, the the wheel, the pedals do come with it. Yes, yes, they do. And I recommend if you ever get a steering wheel, no matter where you get that steering wheel from, you should definitely get some pedals to go with it. Again, all those links are in the description if you're curious how much they cost or anything like that. Uh, would I do some role play in Farming Sim? I don't know. I mean, uh, Mike has been asking me to come join his Farming Sim server for a while, but I just haven't been in Farming Sim in a while. So I, I just, I haven't, like, I literally just reinstalled it, <laughs> like, two weeks ago. So, I haven't been playing very much lately until a couple weeks ago but I don't know maybe I know that w when I played multiplayer when farming sim 22 first came out actually no even before that I got into farming sim back in farming sim 19 and a friend of mine invited me to play and I was like why would I play farming sim like like why would I even like I've never been into farming farming has never been my thing never like flight sim is my thing racing is my thing even trains are my thing. Trucking's my thing as well. But farming, I was like, I know nothing about farming. Like, I legit know nothing about farming. Never been to a farm. <laughs> I've driven by farms, of course, but I know nothing about farming. And so I got in the farming sim 19, uh, and I was playing with, I think it was two other guys, and we're setting up a farm on some map, and you know, I, what I liked about it back then was really just what I found out was that what I liked about it was really just hanging out with my friends like it really wasn't about the game we were playing or the farming sim it was more of just like the conversations and just 
goofy times they were having together within the simulator um it just happened to be farming sim that we were in at the time and so whenever they weren't playing i i felt no need to hop on the game like i wasn't interested enough into farming sim to actually play when they weren't there and so for that reason when they kind of trickled off and you know they were busy or whatever i was like well i'm just gonna delete this game because it's taking up space matter of fact i think i think i got a refund for farming sim 19 <laughs> if i remember correctly i think i got a refund for it um because i just wasn't interested in it and then maybe fast forward a year or two later i found out that i didn't get my refund and that I still had Farming Sim 20, uh, 19 installed. And for some reason, I don't know what it was, but for some reason, something about Farming Sim sparked my interest again. And I gave it a second try. When I gave it a second try, I got hooked. <laughs> I don't know why the second time around I got hooked. Um, are we 79% full. I'm actually going to, uh, since we're almost full, we're going to flip it around and go the other way so we can bring the truck up alongside us and so um, I got back into it I started watching tutorials and learning exactly like how like how the farm stuff actually works like how like what's the process you know uh, cultivating and then doing this doing that because I didn't even know I didn't know that stuff oops watch out for the corn Well, you know what? That's what I thought, too. When I first got into Farming Sim 19, I thought it was boring. I, I was like, this is boring. I'm only here because my friends are here and we're talking and they're funny. Um, but like I said, then later on, I got back into it and started learning a bit more about how the game works, doing this and that. And for whatever reason, it just it caught my interest and it, it kept me. So I kept playing it. Uh, got a lot of hours in Farming Sim 19 after that. And then... That was right before they announced that Farming Simulator 22 was coming out. And so obviously, because I just got back into Farming Simulator 19, I was really excited about Farming Simulator 22. Um, and so I've been playing it ever since, and that was, what, a year ago. What up, Data? Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. But yeah, it is relaxing. It's uh, very chill. Uh, this game is not for everyone, I'll tell you that much. Um, yeah it is not for everyone if you are even slightly interested in farming um maybe you know farms in real life i don't know uh but it definitely has a lot of depth to it which is oh snap we're full <laughs> uh has a lot of depth to it um this is really cool i've actually personally learned everything i know about farming is because of this game that's that's 100 percent true all right we're all full so let's go run back to our truck Uh, you were saying it's boring because you're on you uh, you were on the same field, the same machine. So that's that's I I, I get that I get that. Um, in the beginning too, if you don't have any like special miles or anything like that, um, it can kind of get tedious. It can feel like a grind as well. Uh, so what I personally did was when I started this save game, I didn't just you know <laughs> I didn't really play hardcore. I actually gave myself like six million dollars or something like that um which you can't normally do um but i, w I knew i wanted a, a different experience i didn't want to have to grind out i wanted to have a nice big field i want to have some interesting crops i want to try out the the uh production um the production stuff and so i just kind of created a, a save game that i just was going to be interested in and keep me busy i tried out animal um raising animals and stuff like that too so for me personally this save game has been interesting it's kept me very busy um but one of the major factors for me is getting the ai to do the majority of the work <laughs> uh, so i got the ai who does who basically do all my fields overkill what's up man how you doing bro welcome back bro um the ai does the majority of my fields so i don't just sit here for two hours running back and forth like i don't do that trust me trust me <laughs> i don't i don't even do that in flight sim in flight sim if i have a two hour flight i'm not here for two hours i'm here for 30 minutes take off and landing all right that's we're still 54 percent full on this so i'm gonna go ahead and tell the ai to continue uh without us here 
let's see, let's do nearest waypoint. I'm not sure where it's going to actually start. Let me turn on the uh, on the track here. So, yeah, I guess we'll start here. I hit play. There you go. So now I'm hands off completely, and the AI is now controlling the harvester. I can turn it off, and I can hop out. I can hop out and let him do his thing. What up, Drifter? Welcome to the stream. And yeah, it is. The game is definitely way better with friends. Yeah. Oh no. Why is he doing? Why is he doing that thing? Why are you doing that thing? I don't want straw. <laughs> Hold on, cuz. Can I turn it off? I think he might do it anyways. I'm not keeping it, I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna mulch it down. Uh, can I make crop circles? Yeah, you could, if you get creative with it. Yes, you could. All right, well, whatever. Whatever, man. Um, but yeah, single player is relaxing. I mean, I play single player uh, a lot, but um, if you can do multiplayer, it's way more fun. It's faster, um, and it's, yeah, it's way better. All right, I want to flip around here. All right, Titan, I'll catch you later, man. See ya. Do I like the John Deere X9? Yeah, I like it. It's uh, the only one I've been using for this save game. I think it might be a mod. Isn't it a mod? I can't remember if it's a mod or not. Where the heck is he going? <laughs> uh, no, that's not the right direction. Hold on, let me fix him. Yeah, drift. I don't want to bail it though. I don't want to bail it. That's too much work. It's fun though. I do like bailing, but I don't want to bail now. <laughs> Come here, man. I need to stop you from doing what you're doing. Ah, screw it. Let him go. <laughs> Let him go. Wait, no. I take it back. No. It's it's messing with my. My partial OST, especially with my my partial OCD. I'm uh, fired. How do I fire you? There we go. Okay, so we need to. So what happened was, I think I started him on a bad part of the uh, the course. What up, Rob? Welcome to the stream, representing the Netherlands in the house. Oh, sorry, not the uh, the representing the UK. Good to see, you, man. It says some files were corrupted when you try to start FS 2020, 2022, sorry. Yeah, you probably need to, uh, to verify all your files again and all that, which is fun. I'm going to start right here if it allow us to. Let's watch them. Uh, I do have cows. I have 30 cows, I think. And some pigs as well. That's all. That's the only wildlife I have, or animals. I have uh, cows and I have pigs. I haven't tried uh, horses yet, and I have not tried. Actually, I've done chickens, but yeah, not now. All right, let's get those ugly lines out of the way. Ruining my immersion. So I got this new mod called Player Camera that I've been wanting to mess with. It allows me to zoom in and out like this. And I can go up and down as well. Uh oh. 
So it makes for some really dope screenshots. Let's see if we can get a shot of her coming up to us. Or him. Here he comes. Uh, where did I find this mod? Uh, I actually found it on Reddit, like, today. <laughs> um, just search player camera. And it's on, like, farming sim mod hub. But I wish I knew about it sooner, because it's really cool. But as you can see, you can zoom in and out. You can lower the camera way lower than you usually can. I can get all the way down the ground if I wanted to. Uh-oh, I think I just broke it. There we go. Bro, that's sick. That's so cool. I also use another mod called um, Power Tools. So I can open up this menu here and I can spawn things. I can toggle super strength if I want to pick up like logs. Uh, flight mode, which I really like flight mode. When I turn on flight mode, I can go like this. And I think I can use these two mods together. Let's see if that works actually, that's a good question. Oh, it does, sweet. So I'm in flight mode, so I'm like way, way up here. Now you can actually see my entire farm that we're harvesting today. It looks like a Grand Prix. And then I can get some nice screenshots. Uh, I don't know if I have the teleport one. I'm not sure if I have the teleport one, but that's a pretty, that's pretty sick. So let's go hop back uh, in my truck and unload this guy again. Look at that, he missed his spot. I tell you, man, it's hard to get good help around here, man. Hard to get good help around here. Checkered Flag Motorsports, welcome to the stream, my friend. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Just harvesting some wheat today, and we're going to drop this wheat over in the grain mill and uh, hopefully make some flour to sell to the shops. Right, I'm going to pull up right next to him. What I'm going to do this time, I'm actually going to I'm gonna stay with him. There we go. We're almost full. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I want to stay with you, bro. It would, bro, Overkill, man, we're overdue on a collab, bro. So, whether it's Flight Sim or Farming Sim, we're going to make it happen eventually. Because we have a lot of uh, simulation games in common. <laughs> simulation interests in common. So, we'll have to get me, you, and maybe a few other guys to work a farm together or do something together. It'd be nice. Airport Sim, even. All right, so what I'm going to do this time, I'm just going to run alongside him. Uh, so he can stay full. Why are you missing so much? Well, actually, technically, I did that one. <laughs> so maybe it's my fault. Alright. Hello, Blue. Hello. Thank you so much for that uh, super chat donation. I really appreciate it. Alright, I'm going to set the cruise control here. That's too much. That's too much. Uh, let's bring that down. How fast is it going? Like five? So I have a, uh, a cruise control on this knob here on my joystick, so I'm just scrolling it down. He's doing about five or six right now. So that should be good. We'll try five. Let's see if five is fast enough. Five is too slow. Yeah, six would be just right. So now I've been a cruise with him. That's sweet. Yeah, that's the, the struggle. And it's the same, not just with you, Overkill, but uh, a lot of people for me is like, I struggle to, usually evening times are hard for me. Um, it's hard for me to commit to recording or even just gaming on a weekday on the evening and same thing with the weekend because just i never know what my schedule is honestly <laughs> but we'll make it work sometime i don't work nights no all right we're almost full
Yes, probably, maybe. Uh oh, he's slowing down. 99%. Ah! Alright, that's close enough. Alright, let's go drop this off. Yeah, it's kind of like area. Yeah, I mean, it's, this is way easier than area refueling for sure. Alright, so we got a truck load full of grain. And now we're going to drive it over to the grain mill, uh, which happens to be right here. Normally, you would drop this into a silo uh, and then transfer that somewhere else. But in our case, uh, part of my production is I have a grain mill on site because we do produce flour. So all I need to do is drive it right over here and drop it into this guy. That's a bit of a tricky parking because all of the uh, flowers sitting there. So you can see we already have flour ready to go. Just going to pull this way. That should be good. And it will hit some, pull up a little bit more. That's far enough. We'll hit I key here. And we'll start dropping the wheat. So again, this is going to go straight into the grain mill. Uh, which is going to produce it in the flour. That's cool. <laughs> that is cool. Sweet. Um, speaking of DCS World, I don't know, I don't, I have not yet decided what we're going to stream tomorrow. Um, I was going to do DCS, but also might not. Uh, next week I'll be out all week for, um, World Flight. Let's go see how the production facility is doing. How do I get in here? Car. Alright, so this is our grain meal. We can either use wheat flour, barley, oat, or sorghum. And right now we just dropped off 58,000 liters of wheat in our first load. Uh, we currently have 7,000 liters of flour stored. Um, and it's kind of the production has stopped for like months because we ran out of, of wheat. Um, but now that we have wheat going in, it'll start producing more wheat and storing it and then we can actually take that to a local shop or somewhere and we can sell that wheat um somewhere else but yeah so i haven't decided yet what i'm gonna do to model oops uh am i still in fly mode i am i forgot i was in fly mode i turn it off but we might do dcs we might do flight sim i don't really know don't know. I thought I had an idea, but I forgot. <laughs> so, what up, Brett Sander? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Uh, right now, we're just doing single player. But I would love to do, I would love to do multiplayer with you guys later on. Um, we have to get all the mods figured out, of course. I mean, technically, hmm. Technically, I could make a multiplayer server now. The thing about that, though, is... Hmm. I think on multiplayer, I don't think course play works. So I have to be sure that some of you guys are actually going to be joining. Because if not, if we do multiplayer and nobody shows up, I'm going to end up harvesting this whole field of my darn self. And that's not gonna be that's not gonna be dope because there's a lot of freaking weed here, and this, this is a a two three man job right here. I need to fly to wherever you're gonna be doing world flight. Ooh, that's actually an idea. That is an idea. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! <laughs> you said back up into me. Yeah, that's not a bad idea to do a flight to where I'm doing a world flight. Yeah, because next week I'll be gone. I'll be uh, in a full-size 737 simulator with some friends in person. So I'll be out of town at that simulator. And we'll be flying uh, around the world for a charity event. 
It's going to be a lot of fun. It's an event, event called World Flight. So if you can actually join us virtually, uh, fly along with us. We'll be flying on Vatsim. But uh, yeah, I got to look into that and see. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Maybe. No promises. All right, Rogue Family. I'll catch you later, man. What's up, Juan Pierre from the Netherlands? Always good to see you, bro. Welcome aboard. All right, he's almost to the end. And we'll just flip around, get out of his way. I'm still upset that he's doing the straw. I, f I feel like there's got to be a way to tell AI not to do the straw. I don't want it. I am lucky, Overkill. I am lucky. It'll be fun. I'm going to be there with a bunch of different um, flight simmers and streamers and pilots. So, looking forward to it. I really am looking forward to it. Honestly, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do kind of like a preparation flight. Uh, make sure I got all my checklist and stuff like that ready to go. Because we are going to be doing multi-crew. It's not going to be me flying by myself. It's going to be like two or three people in the cockpit at a time. Alright, I want that set to six. And there we go. Autopilot's on. Or I should say, auto cruise control is on. Uh, do World of Flight participants take precedence on VETSIM? Uh, I don't know the answer to that question. Yeah, you're right. Uh, well, what I usually do, um, I don't know if I can start it now. What I usually do right after I harvest is I do mulching. Um, I learned that if you mulch right after harvesting, it... Uh, it's good for like the soil and the field or something like that. So that's what I usually do. Is um, I'll go back over with a mulch with a mulcher. I'll mulch it first, and then after mulching, I believe then I'll cultivate it. Yeah, I'll cultivate it after that, and then we'll seed it. And I think I hit it with. Uh, I can't remember if I hit it with the uh, herbicide. Or no fertilizer sorry, fertilizer before I do all that as well so we will not get that far today <laughs> today is all about harvesting um, but I might do mulching we might we might start get the mulching started uh, can I use a grain cart back at the John on the back of the John Deere tractor yes I can um, this is the truck is just because there's so much grain and I, I mean imagine this like this field is my small is my smallest field that field ahead of us, that's my cornfield. One of them. It's massive. And uh, that's a lot of, of, uh, of, of cart loads of, of corn. So I decided to upgrade to a, a full truck. Um, our last full load had us at, was it 39, almost 40,000 liters of, uh, of grain? So I just need big bulk you know, you know what i'm saying uh yes this is a custom um not a wheelbase but this is a custom uh wheel mount it's called the uh simtask steering kit from thrustmaster and it mounts onto your desk i have it mounted onto my next level racing chair right here but uh it can mount on to your desk it does have a desk mount right here Yes, actually, I just discovered Millennial Farmer the other day. Believe it, I can't believe I never heard of him. But I, I was just watching his videos yesterday, actually. I was trying to, like, brush up on my farming knowledge uh, when working, getting back into farming sim. I've been watching a lot of trucker, trucking vlogs lately. And uh, I was like, you know what? I wonder if there's any farming vlogs. So I looked it up and I found Millennial Farmer. Great content. Uh, he taught me how to use a combine harvester. <laughs> Not even lying. He, I think he has a video. Uh, was it him? Yeah, it was him. Or no, was it a tractor or a harvester? I can't remember what it was. But he has a, like a tutorial video on how to drive like a tractor or something like that. So it was good stuff. Good video. Great content. But it's pretty cool, man. I mean, I personally would never want to work on a farm in real life. That's 
That's way beyond what I want to do. That's for sure. Simulation Farms. Welcome to the stream, man. Look up Larson Farms. They're great. I will. Thank you so much. I, You know what? I, I didn't know that I was going to be so entertained by them. Um, but I have enjoyed watching the farming sim, uh, or not farming sim, farming uh, vlog videos. But again, I would not personally want to work on a farm. I, it's In reality, I am a inside dog. <laughs> Let's just say that. I am an inside dog in reality. Um, working at the airport, I loved it, right? Didn't mind that at all, but I would not enjoy working on a farm. That's just not the type of work I would like doing. All right, so he's going to run to the end of the line there. And we have 19,000 liters in the truck so far. Farming's fun. I mean, maybe, maybe if I was driving the trucks and machinery, I guess when I think about farming, like, I think about, like, cutting grass. Like, that's something I hate doing right now in general like even my own house i don't like cutting grass i hate it. i've always hated cutting grass since i was a kid all right so we're gonna meet him at the other end he's finished the headlands we had three headlands which and if you guys are new to farming and farming sim a uh, headland is basically like a perimeter of the uh of the field so we've done three perimeters of the field a perimeter is basically a headland and so what we could do is i mentioned the mulching earlier so what if we go get that set up while he how close to full is he though let me see i'm gonna wait for him to flip around make sure he's not too close to full and uh we'll go get the other tractor and get started on uh on mulching and preparing his field uh for the next for the next seeding time or planting season i do not play lawn mowing simulator nope uh, this game is plenty of lawn mowing simulator that I need. Yeah, I, yeah, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe crop farming. Maybe I would like that. Um, I know for sure I don't want to work with animals. I know I don't want to do that. That's just ill. Like, eh. <laughs> like the smell. No. Um, but I think the thing too, to be honest, one of the reasons why I don't like cutting grass well for one i live in texas and the time that you cut grass in texas is freaking hot like it's in the summer it's hot it's 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 in and i live in houston as well and it's extremely humid so it's just not a good time cutting grass in houston texas uh but also on top of that um i have pretty bad allergies when it comes to grass um, like, if I go cut the grass and there's pollen, like, I'm, I'm sneezing all night, I can't breathe, I can't sleep. So those are the reasons why, um, I hate cutting grass. <laughs> um, so, for those same reasons, I believe that would probably be just as bad doing crops and stuff like that. Because you're still outside, you're in the dust, you're in the, in the, um, in the dirt. Um, so it probably would be very bad for my sinuses as well, honestly. Now, one thing I actually did enjoy, me and my wife, uh, we did some uh, planting for the very first time. Me and her have no experience at all in, like, like planting or flowers or pottery, like, none of that stuff. And uh, last spring, we were like, you know what, let's see if we can, like, transform our front yard. We have, like, a little garden. Uh, let's see if we can, like, like, plant some flowers and stuff like that. And so we went to Lowe's. We bought, like, a bunch of different types of flowers. You know, again, we know nothing about this stuff, right? But bought a bunch of flowers, came back home, got us a little shovel, started digging and planting, and I'm watching YouTube tutorials on how to plant, <laughs> how to plant a flower. Oh, I'm not even kidding. What's up, Definition 95? Good to see you, bro. Yeah, we're on farming sim today. All right, we're gonna leave him alone for a bit. We're gonna run and grab the uh, the mulcher. Uh, long story short, uh, we had a lot of fun. And the plants looked beautiful for that day and they quickly died so because i guess we're just not good at it um so those plants died they are definitely no longer with us only actually only one of them survived so i had to learn about like you know planting on the right side of the house depending on where the sun is some plants need more sun than others so yeah all that stuff 
So, um, yeah, most of those plants died just like goldfish. Let's go and find our tractor. Uh, we don't need a heavy tractor for what we're about to do. Uh, for mulching, I usually use a pretty... I'd probably use a, the Magazin. Sorry, Magazin. The Massive Ferguson because I like the way it sounds. Uh-oh. That's not what I want to do. What is... There we go. Yeah, that's what we need. We need plants that don't need much maintenance. Exactly. It was it was like I didn't water it enough or something, and then we had like a pretty bad drought in Texas too, like right after. Oop, that's not what I want to do. Uh, like right after we uh, planted. So it just wasn't good. Wasn't good. My grass almost died too. Uh, simulation Farms. We're on the Stone Valley map. I love this map. There's a lot of great maps in Farming Sim, and my struggle with that uh, is, like, I feel like you kind of have to pick one. I used to be on another really massive map. It was an American map, and I liked it, but it was just too big for a single person. Like, it was, it was even bigger than this. I mean, it would take you hours to harvest a field or, or do anything on a field because it was just so huge. Like, you had to have multiple people. It was one of those fields where you'd have, like, three, oh, my God. <laughs> Willie, uh, do I not have a nose weight? Oh, it's too heavy. Okay, well, this is not gonna work. <laughs> Let's go get another tractor. Um, there's one of those farms. The, the size was so massive that you would need, if you were gonna harvest a field on that map, you would need like three harvesters running at one time. That's how big. Now, I like maps like that, but I learned very quickly that it's not good for single player or an inactive multiplayer session. Do I do I have a power washer? I I don't think I, I, I bought one. I don't think I did. There is a power washer in the game, if that's what you're asking, but I don't I don't have one with me. So yes my trucks are all they're all dirty but they're about to be put to work. It's harvest season. I got three uh, fields to harvest. I just realized that I left that truck on over there. Just wasting gas. There we go. Um, but yeah, they're about, to, they're about to get put to work, so I'm not worried. If I clean it off, it's going to be dirty very soon. I also have some... Uh, oh, let me drop him off. I have some dirt mods as well that keeps the trucks dirty longer. <laughs> so, so there's that. Uh, looks like it's mounted upside down. The wheel? No, no, it's not. It's it's up. So one of the things you can do, I'll show you this. I can un, uh, I can unscrew this, and the wheel can go up and down. So if you want to have it like you know more facing this way, obviously in my case it wouldn't work. Um, if I had it on the desk or up higher, I could keep it up um, mounted the other way if I want to drive like race cars or something like that. But I have it up, kind of like a tractor. All right, let's go back and get our mulch. That's good. Oh, is that too heavy? It might be too heavy. It's close. It's very close. It'll do. All right, so I'm gonna run this guy. Yeah, it is. It's really cool. It's the first time I've seen a wheel mount that does the movement like that. So. Very clever. Very clever. All right, he's ready for uh, another um, drop off. So we'll just move this truck over here. Do I have a? I'm not sure if I have a thing or not. All right, date, uh, data. I'll catch you later, man. Oh, cool! You make maps. That's sweet, bro. It's fun, but it's time consuming. I can imagine. I really can. I think I watched a tutorial like a while back of someone showing you how to make maps. And I was like, ooh, that's kind of cool. But I just wasn't interested enough personally to to start making maps myself. I rather enjoy the maps that everyone else is making. Uh, can you get the wheel and joystick set up for PS4? Uh, you can get the wheel um, for PS4. 
4, I believe, and Xbox, but, but the joystick itself does not work for um, console, sadly. Like, the wheel I'm using right now is actually technically an Xbox wheel. Alright, so we are 50% full on our trailer. And we're almost done with this field. Once he finishes, uh, we'll take over the harvester. We'll clean it up because there's a lot of spots he missed. Oh, hurry up. Oh, I forgot about that. So, farming sim actually simulates weight. So, my truck was, was struggling to get going because now that we're half full, or 70% now, it was uh, struggling to keep up. Uh, Mutasam, this is Farming Simulator 22. I think it's actually on Game Pass now. Uh, and it is on PC and on console. And what we can do if you guys want, uh, before we end the stream, maybe after we finish harvesting and all that, we can switch over to my other um, save game and uh, do some logging. Just for a quick bit. Alright, turn off. And so I can show you guys the... Uh, I feel like the joystick really shines when it comes to operating cranes and front loaders and things like that. But I also like to use it with the harvester. It's pretty sweet. Alright, we're 86% full. Let's go ahead and drop this one off. That's plenty. I think I feel like I feel like farming sim is a good game for people who have OCD. Like it's like oddly satisfying, like watching a field go from you know freaking ready to harvest crops to another field state, and then you go from this to the cultivate the beautiful brown uh, dirt cultivated state. So it's I think it's a good game for people who have OCD. The uh, John Deere S780 does have dual or tracks. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, I, I, I know, personally, I'm not... I don't know. My personal preference is not for the tractors with tracks. Does that make sense? I'm surprised that I use a, a, uh, a harvester with tracks. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to back up a little bit. Close enough. All right. I right, hit I. Offload. That's fifty-one thousand liters of wheat we're dropping off right now. This is our second load. Our first load was fifty-nine thousand. That's already above a hundred thousand liters of wheat. That is a lot of freaking wheat. What's up, King David? Welcome to the stream, man. Is that a CB in front of my keyboard? No, that is actually a radio stack. This is what I use for farming sim. Sorry. <laughs> flight sim is a different FS. Uh, for flight sim, if I plug in, like if I start up Microsoft Flight Sim or any of my flight simulators, you'll see radio, uh, you'll see numbers pop up and I can change the frequency on my aircraft radio with this. But no, it, that's a good guess though. It does kind of li look like a CB radio a little bit. That would be cool too. That would be pretty cool too. All right, let's head back out. It's actually going pretty good, man. It's going faster than I thought. Now that we got the AI working for us, and we're just kind of picking up the, the grain and dropping it off, things are going a lot faster and smoother. Uh, do I have hazards? Yes, I, I think they're just not on. But yes, there are hazards on the on the harvester and on. Actually, I don't know if that one has it. Yeah, he's almost done. I think he might have one more. 
row to go. You can see all the the ones he missed out on. So again, I do know that if you wanted to, I think he's full. No, he's not. If you wanted to, you can go back um, with a, what do you call it, chat? Is it a hay baler or just a baler? I think he's done. Oh, he's be unloaded. He's pretty much done, though. Uh, Mutasam, we are actually on single player right now, so I don't have any uh, any link or code for you to join. But next time we play, um, I'm gonna try to get a multiplayer uh, session set up for us to join in. I was a bit worried that uh, people would have a lot of trouble joining me if I did multiplayer because I have a lot of mods. Uh, on this server, and I didn't want to have to be dealing with troubleshooting. Oh, I can't get in stuff like that. So, it's so what to come out, chill. Oh, he is done. Sweet, sweet. All right, cool. So we're gonna hop out of this truck, hop back into the harvester ourselves, and that was quick. That was uh, much faster than I expected. I right, start the engine up. It's the outside view, and. Uh, Let's go right first. And we'll unfold this guy. Doesn't need to be folded. Uh, but not that button there. Thank you, Isaac, for the follow. Greatly appreciate that, my friend. Welcome aboard. It's called a bailer. Thank you for that, uh, Culber. Yeah, so I know that you can get a bailer. Uh, to pick up all those rows of of straw and you can actually sell those if you wanted to um but in our case we're gonna pass on that we're making plenty of money elsewhere uh that we don't have to worry about that we're selling chocolate selling flour we got cows producing milk we got pigs Uh, what's your question, Drifter? I understand that. So again, that field on our um, on your screen right is also owned by us, and it's a pretty big cornfield, bigger than the field we just. Uh, uh, actually, I think it's about the same size. Now that I think about it, of the field we just harvested. Uh, turn off. But the field way out in the distance, that one's a big one. So I'm gonna need help with that one. So maybe in the future we could get together and you guys can help me do corn when we do corn next. Alright, oh, we got a big old row he missed out over here. What are you doing, man? Got a big mountain of uh, straw right there. Let's zoom in. Might be stuck. There we go. What are you stuck on? Oh, we're on the fence? Stuck on the fence? I think we're stuck on the fence. Yeah, we are stuck on the fence. There we go. Alright, drop it down. Oh, nice. We can get this all in one shot. Sweet. Oh, no. It's starting to rain. I, th I thought I saw rain. But you do not want to harvest in the rain. So, just doing some cleanup. Picking up where our uh, employees missed out. As always, probably texting and driving, but we got this done faster than I expected though. I have a question for you guys in chat, for those of you who play a lot of farming sim. 
Uh, do you know the? Hopefully, you know the answer to it. Um, so this steering wheel I'm using right now is a T248 from Thrustmaster, and it's a pretty good wheel. I've used it for racing. I've used it for trucking before. Um, I have since um, moved onto a different wheel, but in farming sim, I'm still using it. And I'm noticing that I can't, like the force feedback is not working. And I don't know how to fix it. So if anybody can help me with that, because there's no use of having a force feedback wheel if the force feedback doesn't work. a little bit more and then maybe we'll buy a power washer <laughs> so we can clean this farming uh forest feedback doesn't work in farming i thought i heard somewhere that it does work but i don't know i mean if it just doesn't support forest feet well here's the thing if you go into the settings the wheel oops that's closer than i thought it was if you go into the wheel settings in, in uh, Farming Simulator, there is a option to turn on and off force feedback. Why would they have the option to turn on force feedback if they don't support force feedback wheels? That's what I don't understand. So basically, Zach, you're having the same problem as me. You also have a force feedback wheel that's not working in Farming Simulator. Well, I mean, not for the combined harvester specifically. I get what you're saying though, Dan. But I mean, like, this wheel has a motor inside that gives you force feedback based on what you're doing, the terrain you're driving on, things like that. And it works in every other game I've ever played. But in Farming Sim, I get zero force feedback. And I've tried other wheels as well and it didn't work, even though there is a force feedback option. Alright, we're almost done. Got one more to catch over here. We'll do one quick run through, make sure we didn't miss anything. Oh my god, that's my sense of distance is so off from over there. But I do understand that the combined harvester does not have a uh have force feedback. Uh, somebody, somebody, someone was asking, when does this joystick come out? The farm stick. Uh, but it's called the SimTask Farm Stick by Thrustmaster. And it's uh, available on November 15th. But you can pre-order it now. I do have a link in my description uh, to go pre-order it if you choose to. All right, I think we're done. I am really surprised. How long has it been? <laughs> like, for real. So, cool. All right, so we're done with that. Um, oh, wait. There's one more bit over here we missed. One more little bit. Got to get every bit of it, man. You wanna leave no money on the table. All right, sweet. All right, so I'm gonna park this over here. And we'll bring the truck back around, we'll empty it. There's only a thousand liters in here. Only. <laughs> and we'll bring the truck around, pull the pipe out. There we go, just like that. All right, let's jump over to our truck. Oh, sweet. There we go. Yeah, you're right, Dan. So again, the harvester obviously doesn't have feedback, right, in real life. But I'm in the truck. I get zero feedback in the truck. Zero. Nothing. And I should be getting it driving over these bumps, driving over the grass, driving over literally anything. So zero feedback. I've been, I've been playing for a while with the wheel now, and I've never had it. So I, I was just wondering, hoping that maybe somebody had a fix. Um, or maybe I'm missing a setting. I don't know. Uh, I would I would like it if it had feedback. It's weird not having any feedback. All right, the last bit of wheat going in the tank. That's it. All right, so we got nine thousand liters on us. 
Now I am noticing that it has like an auto centering. So if I turn like this, okay, not anymore. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, so it should turn. Okay, there it is. So it turns itself back. So it is sort of like I don't know. I'm not sure what's causing that. The wheel just feels weird. It, it's definitely not vibrating and doing the things that it should do. Should what a what a force feedback wheel should do. It's not doing any of that. Uh, I have heard people have got the the Logitech wheel working. Uh, my force feedback is set to 100. <laughs> that I do know. Alright, we're clear. I keep forgetting to use the little spinny thing. I'm not used to using the spinny thing. Uh, I am, I believe I'm running max graphics. I'm not sure. It should be. I have, I have the PC to do so. hit the flower. That's our precious cargo there. Alright, so we should be in place. And we are. I'll pull this a little bit more. There we go. Alright, unload the last bit of wheat. So this was the easy part of the job. Which is good. Um, the hard one again is going to be doing all the corn. We have a lot of corn. It's going to be a lot of truckloads of corn. So we have basically three, was it three guys? Was it three or four truckloads of wheat, uh, which should bring us to? Hold on now. Bring us to a hundred and nineteen thousand liters of flour, um, and that might be a little off because this production facility is already like processing it, so we may have lost maybe a hundred liters in the last hour or something like that. I don't know. But 119,000, that should keep them busy for a while, making flour. Uh, we'll have to find out, at, you know, when is the best time to sell flour based on, um, you know, supply and demand and whatnot. I think it's going to be December if I, if I saw correct last time. Let's see, flour, flour, yeah, this flour, flour, best time to sell is, yes, December. So December is when we're gonna probably try to just sell that. So we'll get, that's why I have the other truck. We can load the pallets onto that truck. But in the meantime, we'll park this baby and uh, get started on working the, uh, getting that other fuel um, ready for the next um, planting season, which I don't think comes until spring of next year. <laughs> so got a ways to go. Uh, yes, I do have Train Simulator Classic. Of course I do. I've actually been thinking about getting uh, the Trains game. The Trains with a Z. I've been seeing some videos of it lately. And, oh shoot. And some, uh, don't hit me, bro. Give me space. Alright, we're gonna pull it over here. Um, and it looks pretty... I don't know, it looks not as nice as Train Some World, but some of the editing features look helpful. Uh, Train Some World 4 came out with a new editor, and I tried it, and it's a bit. I feel like it's more complicated than it should be. <laughs> you know, I, I come from train, uh, Transport Fever, which is not a good comparison, uh, but it's so easy to, like, make train routes and and stuff like that in Transport Fever, and it's just so complicated doing Train Some World 4. And I'm not interested in spending that much time making a route. Uh, maybe I'll make a, uh, maybe I'll make a uh, scenario, but. All right, let's get the baby parked. And that'll do. Oops, too far. All right, that works, turn it off. All right, let's go run over to our, is this it? Yep, yeah, this is it, our motor. So first things first. Let's see if we have a AI track created, because I'm not gonna do this whole field by myself. So I'm gonna go to the escape menu here, and I'm gonna have a mod called Course Play that allows me uh, to kind of generate a route for the AI to drive the field so that they, you know, try to make as few errors as possible. Because if you were to just use the built-in AI tool, uh, they're extremely stupid, <laughs> extremely stupid. Let's see, uh, Mulcher, per perfect, I have one already. 
All right, so, so let's do clear course, load course, activate. Done. Cool. So again, I'll start it myself just to kind of show you guys what's going on. And then we'll let the AI take over from there. So we'll start from this end of the field. Yeah, I agree, man. I hope the next farming sim game uh, has a better AI worker. I feel like the AI worker is such a staple of the game because once you get farther in the game, or even in the beginning, you know, it's the thing about farms is like you don't run farms by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like it's there's a lot of work that goes into farms, and you know, even in the game, like the most efficient way to run a farm, even in farming sim, is to have like at least three people working with you. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the outside of you. We're going to lower uh, this guy and unfold it. So as I said earlier, so the way the process that I usually take, to have unfolded it first. <laughs> the process that I usually do in farming sim, as far as field prep, is I harvest the field. If I don't do the uh, hay and straw bailing stuff. I will go back over the field uh, with the mulcher, which is what we have right now. And what that's going to do is basically kind of take the uh, what's left on the field and kind of like mix it into the dirt uh, and just kind of enriches the dirt for the next seeding time uh, before we cultivate it. So we turn it on. You got to be careful because it also kind of cuts grass. So I just cut that grass right there. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Dan. Mulching gives you a 5% yield bonus. So this past yield that we just did, we had an 89% yield. I'm not sure how much bonus we got. Um, but, yeah. The, the kind of the key in, in farming sim is trying to do as much as you can to get the best, pr like the best product possible. And to get the best product, there are different steps that you need to take in farming sim whether it be uh fertilizing or mulching or uh you know putting manure on the field things like that so you can't really see that well on screen but there is a difference between yeah i'm cutting grass <laughs> it's okay it's all right it'll grow back it, it really will grow back Oh, yeah, I forgot you could do that. You can pull a mulch with a combine. That is a great idea. Can I do that with the with the combine I have? Or do I need to use a different one for that? Because that would save me a step. If I could mulch at the same time as I'm combining and harvesting, then I don't have to run back over it again with the mulcher like I'm doing right now. I'm glad you mentioned it. I might try that for uh, when we do corn. Oops, too far. When we do corn, I may try that. Yeah, I just cut all that grass. <laughs> God dang it. So, yeah, mulching is a good, uh, it's something I, I it's one of my normal things to try to get a, a bonus in the, in the final product. Um, but yeah, mulching, fertilizing, uh, making sure there's no weeds, stuff like that will hurt your final harvest. I, I don't know if I have, I think this is the, I don't know if I have a bigger mulcher. It's just very small. Yeah, I have rocks turned off because they're super annoying. <laughs> they're they're annoying. I, when I made this save game, I was like, I'm only gonna include the things that like I don't mind doing. Uh, cleaning up rocks on the field got super tedious and it gives you an entire new like like you have to basically like go do the whole field another additional time just to get rocks off it just adds so much to the process and i was like nah i'm good i right, just put cruise control on here there we go take my feet off yeah rocks are definitely annoying Uh, Drifter, I played Train Sim World 4 now, but yes, I used to play in Train Sim World 3. Let's 
So as I said before, what we can do is uh, I have the oops the course play mod, and we'll do nearest waypoint start. So now the AI is going to take over from here. And see if I can if you can see the difference. So look, look closely at. Let me get a nice close up of uh, of the field before and after it gets mulched. Just so you can get an idea what it's actually doing. So like here we are, right on the ground. We'll go on this side. So you see that little like stubble down there? That came from like the very bottom pieces of the grain that we just cut. It's basically just gonna lay those down and mix it back in with the dirt. Uh yes, I do have a rail driver. You see that? So now this it's just yeah. Similar texture, but it's just laid down. And then after this, uh depending if the field needs to be plowed, which it doesn't. Uh, we'll hit it with the uh, with the cultivator next. Uh, I am from the United States, my friend. That's where I'm from. But yeah, I have a real driver, and uh, I do not play train sim without it anymore. I love, I love it. So that's gonna take a while because it's not a very big tool. I don't think we have a bigger one. Like I think that's the biggest one that I I don't have any mulch for mods. Do I? Where would that be? That would be over here maybe. Mulch. For... Yeah, the one I'm using is this one right here. Is this one? This one's pretty big. This one's 5.8 meters. No, this is the same size. Yeah, this one says it's 5.8 meters wide. The one I'm using is 6 meters wide. 5.6, 3, 2, 1.4. Yeah, so the one I have is the biggest one available. Unless there's another one that you guys know of. I could have swore there was like a cultivator or something like that that also mulches. I can't remember. There's a lot of, a lot of tools, a lot of equipment in here that, I mean, it's just so much detail. There's a narrow too that you could use. You could use that before you uh, do the next. Not sure exactly what a narrow is though. What does that do? But you do it before cultivating. But that's probably what I need to do though. I need to get a, a mod to allow me to get a bigger one. So I think what I did because uh, the cultivator was it the cultivator? No, the plow. The plows in game are extremely small. And so it takes forever to plow a field. And I think I, when I first started this game, uh, I had some fields that I needed to change and make bigger or smaller or whatever. And I went and downloaded this mod, the John Deere 2410 plow, uh, which is a way bigger plow that I use. But also I downloaded another mod that allows me to use cultivators as plows. And so I use one of the bigger cultivators, which I think is... Uh, one of these, I'm not sure which one it is. But I remember using a cultivator of some sort as a plow as well. Was it a was it a cultivator? Yeah, I think it was. What's up, Jins? Welcome to the stream, my friend. This uh, this joystick comes from Thrustmaster. It's called the SimTask Farm Stick. Um, it's actually uh. You can pre-order it now, but it's not available until the 15th of November. So just about a week or so away. Oh, that's cool. You can change to a roller as well. Uh, Connor, yes, we're playing on PC right now, my friend. All right, we're done with this guy. So let's go ahead and put him away. Uh, we will be using them next month or tomorrow in game uh, for uh, corn harvesting. 
have a lot of corn to harvest. Where's my phone? Sadly, I let my hot chocolate get cold. Yeah. Now it's basically just chocolate milk. There's there's mods on Pinterest for farming sim? Uh, that's new to me. Alright, can we get this thing set on here? This is always tricky for me to get it on here perfectly. Is that on there? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember how to put it on. Like, we're there. <laughs> we're definitely there. Can I raise it some more? Nope, not that one. Lower. Not that. Nope, not that. <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Nope, that's down. Okay, it's already up. Okay, let's see if we can just let go and... Oh, well, that didn't really work out correctly. Oh, it's on there. Cool. Cool. That worked. Alright, so we're... Uh, I'll, you know what? Because chat uh, was so... Uh, adamant about it earlier i will go and pick up a power washer and we'll wash it since it's done a good job today how do i do that i think that's over here somewhere i think that's in the building construction area Is that decorations tools oh here it is right here power wash all right let's put it Be good to put it like near where my trucks are at. Let's put it right here. There we go. All right, we have a power washer now. <laughs> Only because, if, honestly, if it wasn't for you guys, I would have left it dirty. I would have left it dirty. I like it dirty. How do I do this? R. You know what? You gotta take care of your tractors. Take care of your equipment. Oh, too far. There it is. Thanks to chat, we have a Shiny clean harvester. Combine, I should say. There you go. Happy? You happy? <laughs> Alright, how about now? Since we've done that, you know, the mulching thing is not very exciting. That's really all we need to do. Yeah, look at this. The pH value is bad right now. So we got to add fertilizer to this later on. Or honestly manure or something oh are you, are you stuck you had one job ma'am one job all right get out get out i guess somebody else will do it all right we're gonna hop over to uh my other save and we're gonna hop and do some logging with the joystick, which is a lot of freaking fun, but also a challenge. So I'm going to save this game, and uh, we may pick up, we'll see, depending on how many of you guys are interested. If you are interested in continuing with me in multiplayer, uh, please join me on Discord and let me know that, hey, you want to do some farming, uh, so that way we can stay connected, and I can also kind of uh, gauge how many people are interested in kind of doing some multiplayer farming 
Um, so that way, next time we do a live stream, we can do it with on multiplayer with some friends. All right, I'm gonna go quick game. <laughs> Not me, literally in the same tractor. What's up, Carlos? Welcome aboard, my friend. Oz, Texas, Anthony. We are on. It says it right there. Farming Simulator 22. All right, we're gonna jump into in the here. So, um, I mean, I could technically put. Oh, actually, no. Here we go. This is all my mods right here. So before we move, move to the next map, let me show you my mods. So. Um, if we do a multiplayer session, you're going to need to have all these mods installed on your game as well. And there's a few scrolls worth of mods here. So on the top left, I have the Chevy High Country mod, Gooseneck Trailer, Additional Field Info, Auto Drive, uh, Auto Load Stock Trailer, Beehive Pallet Spawner, the big one, Buy Production Input, we have Course Play, we have uh, create fields with cultivator uh, the Charlotte's uh, sorry the Chevrolet Silverado the EXP 22 W900 uh, I think it's a Kenworth custom Kenworth mod uh, exhaust extension uh, custom farmhouses farm tech DW1800 uh, gold harf whatever some kind of thing we have the government subsidy greenhouse guided steering uh, storage bales, John Deere, John Deere, John Deere, John Deere, John, 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 a bunch of John Deere mods. Um, uh, Crone, Profi, Liner, Auto Load, uh, Lizard, Quad Bear, Quad Bike, More Honey, Pallet, Place Options, Multi Fruit Buying Station, PJ Trailers, Pallet, Auto Load, Placing Buildings, Placeable Objects, Placeable Silos, Placeable Vehicles, The Platinum Expansion, which is what I was going to get to next is this next save game is basically using the Platinum Expansion. So if you don't have that, you wouldn't be able to join me anyways. Uh, player Action Camera, which allows me to get those really cool zoom-in views that we saw earlier. The Ponge Pack, which I don't know if I even need. Some of these mods I'm not even using anymore. Uh, power Tools, Precision Farming, a bunch of Dirt Mods, uh, Reduced Maintenance Costs, the Relight Mod. So if you're wondering like if my game looks different visually, that is probably why I have a relight mod on there. Uh, another auto lot supply and transport contracts, US farm buildings, US workshop, universal auto load, and universal auto load map uh, add on. So that's all my mods that I'm using for those who were asking earlier. So let's hop into this next game. Yeah, I, I don't have a list of these mods. I probably should take a screenshot or something. Just, just to have it and post it on Discord or something like that. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> You're gonna need a new. <laughs> You're gonna need another SSD to play with me, maybe. Honestly, the mods on um, the mods on Farming Sim are really not that big. Like this is not Flight Sim, where every mod is like six freaking gigs. All right, we're good. Start. All right, here we are. So we're in a Silver Run forest. Uh, I built myself a little cabin here, and I can show you where we are on the map if you guys are familiar with the map. Um, so we're kind of like right in the middle of it. This is literally a pretty new save game because I only recently picked up the Platinum Expansion. So we're doing some logging ops over here. So I'm just going to run over there. I'll show you guys what we got on. So if you, uh, if you watched my video on the first look at the farm stick, you would have saw this area on that video already. I've done a bit more work since then, uh, bought a few more trucks and equipment. Um, that one over there is used to create um, sawdust or something like that. It, I don't know. I haven't really gotten that far. Um, got some cranes out here. Let's turn the uh, speed down. There we go. Uh, you can see I've already done some logging. And here's one of my cranes. We might actually play with that one. We got this one. So this is uh, another John Deere with a front loader on it. I've been using that quite a lot. Matter of fact, we might hop on that first. Let's hop on that first. Because I do know that I need to do some stuff with it. So really where I am on this on this project is like we've been... 
I, I, I just been chopping down trees. <laughs> That's really all I've been doing is chopping down trees. And, and now it's cleanup time. I gotta clean all these. I gotta make sense of all this, all this wood on, on the ground and get it organized in some kind of way. Yeah, I mean, basically all the mods I've ever downloaded are loaded in, <laughs> even if I'm not using them. So that's probably what I should do, go back through there and, and turn some of them off that I st haven't used in forever and don't plan on using. So let's see if we can get this cluster of, of uh, logs pushed down the hill. Go to the inside view. This one needs a clean too. It's actually not that dirty. Um, oh, you know what? I just realized. So this is the reason why earlier I had to go and map the forward and back because um, I did that specifically for the harvester and I need to change it back for other operations. Uh, where is it at? Gamepad. So I'll turn this one off and that one off. Save. There we go. So now I can move the arm up and down. So again, joystick is pretty cool with the um with the front loader and with the cranes. I feel like this is where you really utilize this setup the most is not just logging, but just anything where you have to use a front loader or a crane of any type. gonna push it for now oh that's actually working way better than I expected <laughs> that is working way better than I expected see like all this I should be getting feedback in my wheel right now but I'm not like well outside we can take a look at how that is so I could try and pick this up Oh, by the way, I didn't mention it in today's stream yet, but I te for the first time last night, I tried this in Construction Simulator, and I was impressed. So we'll have to show you that next time. All right, can, I, can I hook onto that? Can we hook onto that? Let's see. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, there we go. We got it. It's a little sketch. But we, oh, dang it. <laughs> well, it's all going down there anyways. So that's that works. That works. Let's just push it the rest of the way. So, you know, just shamelessly destroying the force. That's all we're doing here. One thing I like, man, is that, like, look at the physics on this truck. When you zoom, like, close in, you can see the the wheels actually flex as we go up and bounce. Like, that's, that's pretty cool. That's sweet. All right. Uh, let's see. What else can we grab? There's a bunch more behind us. There's also some tree stumps on the back of my tractor here. I have a, a stump grinder. That's used to grind up the stumps after we cut them down. In fact, there's one right there. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Right, so there's a stump right behind us. There we go. Grind it up. Grind it up. There's a bunch of stumps laying around. I have not cleaned up all the stumps yet. But, you know, I, I, I wasn't really a big fan of, of forestry um, beforehand, but using the joystick, it definitely adds a bit more fun to it. It's still a lot of work, though. 
Uh, forestry, uh, we talked earlier about how like farming sim is better with like friends and multiplayer. Forestry is definitely a multiplayer activity. There's so much <laughs> to do and it is quite tedious. The fun part is cutting the trees down. But then it's like, all right, well, how do we get the logs into the truck and this and that, you know? So it's like, it's a lot. I agree, man. Construction sim is extremely underrated. Um, but yeah, last night I tried the this stick along with my Thrustmaster uh, Airbus stick. Was it my Airbus stick? Yeah, my Airbus stick. So I did a dual joystick setup. And, um, oh, yeah, it was great. Uh, and construction sim does a great job as well. Uh, allowing you to like map controls for each type of vehicle so I was actually really impressed I was not expecting it to be that easy to set up back up a little bit oh hold on let go of that we might be to pick up these three together oh yeah we gotta okay 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 down 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 oh here we go can we get them all can we get them all three let's see I only got two. That's better than nothing. Let's see if we can get these two down the hill without losing them. But Forge is pretty fun uh, with with the wheel and the joystick so far. I'm really liking it. I might again. I kind of started to save just as a test uh, for the joystick, but. I might keep it going. I don't really know what my purpose is. I might I might go and find a different map to do forestry. Now that I am getting a, a hang of how the process works and what to do, I might find a different map to do forestry. I know there's some good ones out there, I'm sure. Come on, get out of there. Get down. It's like stuck. There we go. If you play cattle and crops, which is abandoned now, the ground effects for the highlight of that one. Hoping that more of that in farms. I haven't, I haven't even heard of that. So that's a game called Cattle and Crops. That's cool. You can build a home and stuff. That's pretty sweet. But yeah, so far all I know that I, all I know to do with farming logs uh and forestry is basically just like to cut a bunch of trees down and then sell it with a sawmill <laughs> that's pretty much it i know there's some missions you can do where they have you cut down specific trees for specific reasons um just haven't gotten into that yet uh, there's also some great live streams and stuff online and youtube channels that um my controls uh that you get to see them do this stuff in real life and it's pretty impressive, those machines and what they can do. Alright, see, the issue is this guy is stuck on a stump down here. Oh, shoot. Look how bouncy this thing is. Alright. Can't see barely anything on the outside of you. Uh, how do you see where your Steam games are placed? So go to your Steam application and where you see your list of games find the game you want to find the location of uh right click on that game and open properties and at some point you should be able to see the option to browse local files there we go uh, i think we only got one come on get Get both of them. There we go. All right, if I can get it to like, like, lock in a little bit. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Nope. Other way. Okay, that's close enough. That's close enough. But yeah, find, um, what did I say? Uh, browse, lo browse local files, and that will take you to where your uh, Steam game files are. All right, that's good. 
open up the door, open up the front loader, drop them off. There you go. Sweet. All right, so we've done that. I mean, we still have a lot more to clear off. I'm just kind of showing you guys some of the different things you can do with the stick. Uh, what we can do next um, is we can let's shut this off. Are the graphics bad, Jimmer, or are they good? Uh, what, what's up with it? <laughs> Not sure how to respond. We can hop into one of the tree cutters and cut some more trees down. Actually, I have two of them. I have another one over there. I like the other one better, but we'll use this one, the Komatsu, for now. Uh, let's just go ahead and turn it on. Oh, it's good? Okay, I wasn't sure, Jimmer. I'm like, uh, what happened? What's wrong? Is it, like, messed up? <laughs> Welcome, bro. Good to see you. Welcome aboard. All right. Uh, this is, like, a good tree right here. Good fat tree. Drop it down. How many hours do I have in uh, farming sim? I think we just looked at the beginning of the stream about 300. Uh, something, I think it was just under 400, right guys? But again, that's over the, the years of farming sim being out. I just really got back into it couple weeks ago and using uh it's, it's a bit different it feels like a new game to me because i've uh last time i played farming sim i was using a mouse and keyboard now i'm using you know uh this <laughs> so it if it, it's different like i was telling a friend of mine the other day i was like playing farming sim with a a wheel and joystick setup reminds me of the first time that I played Flight Sim with a joystick. Not sure if anybody in chat can relate. Uh, the first time you played Flight Sim with a joystick, or maybe the first time you played a racing game with a racing wheel, like it's it's a big deal. It's a game changer. It's so different. I had it a second ago. What happened? Too far. Yeah, logging is definitely fun with the joystick, for sure. Without it, I mean, it's okay without it once you get the hang of, like, how the... how the mouse operations work. Alright, there's a spot. But, I like it so far. I just, again, just like I said earlier, farming simulator in general is just better than multiplayer. I think logging, um... Maybe with more practice, I can get better at it, more efficient, faster at it. Um, the cutting part, I got the hang of that. I, I think I'm okay. I still don't really place the logs in a good, convenient place. <laughs> it's gonna put them wherever. Um, but it's it's more of like the the cleaning up part, like the picking up the logs and putting them somewhere. Part is is difficult for me. And that's really where we are with this job here. Is I've I've kind of cut up cut up a bunch of the forest that I kind of wanted to, and and now it's time for me really to just uh, come back through with um, the rest of the equipment and clear it out, get all the logs out of here, get them on the truck and sell them. Maybe buy a sawmill. Oh, I turned it off. I haven't done any mining though. That sounds like fun. Yeah, I've seen some other YouTubers and who do uh, logging, and they make it look so freaking easy. But honestly, like if all I had to do was just cut trees down, like that's fun to me. I just toss them wherever they go, <laughs> as you can see. But I like this part. This part's fun. I want to see if we can get that big red tree over there. I also like that uh, in the Platinum Expansion Pack, it allows you to do this as well. You can now mark trees, which is really cool. 
So I say I want to get this tree. I want this tree. And this is what I want next. I want this tree right now. There we go. We're gonna go for that tree next. Oh, cool. You run a uh, heavy equipment for a living, so it's easy for you to put. Definitely takes time. Yeah, yeah. That's cool though, man. What do you um? What the type of equipment you usually operate in real life? I'm gonna squeeze through here. I'm gonna get that. I wanna get this tree right here. This has got a nice big tree. And what's cool about the joystick as well is that you can kind of be very smooth with it, very uh, precise where you want to put it and whatnot. All right, picked it up. I want you to fall. Don't follow me. Boom. Wow. <laughs> they need to fix the noise, like the sound. They need to, they really need to, I don't know. Whoa, we're about to fall over. They need to fix the, the sound because when a tree that big falls, you should freaking hear it. You need to hear it, man. There's another one right there. What kind of tree is that? Uh, you run everything and anything, mainly uh, wheel loaders right now at a quarry, a stone quarry. That's cool, man. Is that a pretty, like, I mean, how hard is that? It's not a cure. Like, is it a pretty easy job? Like, now that you've been doing it for a while and, you know, you're used to it, like, I'm sure it's pretty easy, like clockwork, but, like, is it pretty hard to get into that kind of thing? How big is the learning curve for that? And I always wonder, uh, like quarries and construction sites, like how do you become the guy that gets to operate the equipment? Because if I were working at a construction site, I would want to be that guy. <laughs> like I don't want to be the one nailing stuff to the ground. You know what I mean? I want to be the, I want to be the one driving the big trucks. That's what I want to do. Uh, what happened? I turned it off. Ooh, excavator is cool. Oh, cool. So some places will teach you, some places want you to get certified. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I'm not looking to make a career changing like that and get into that, but I was kind of curious how that worked. You know, you see guys operating some of these different equipment. You're like, I mean, how do you get into that? You know? <laughs> I'm sure you got to probably still start maybe at the bottom, possibly. I, I don't know. Like, could I just go somewhere, just get a certification, and then just get hired to do that, just that thing? Is that the way it works, or, or nah? Oops. Right company, yeah. That's always a thing. You got to get the right company going. All right, I see another. Which which one was I gonna get? I saw one that I wanted to hit up. Oh, it was that one over there. See, so yeah, honestly, like doing this with the joystick, I feel like I'm actually operating like something. Like, it doesn't feel like. You know, like it feels, I mean, for lack of better words, real, <laughs> in a way. Alright, we'll cut this tree and we'll see if we can load some in the trailer. I had a hard time doing that earlier. Is that the spot? Is that the spot? Really close. Right, we're like so close. It does not want to register that we're in the spot. Oh, you know why? Because I'm not turned enough. Yeah? No? Closer? Yep, yeah, it wants to be closer. We were there for a second. Bro, 
what's what, what do you want from me? Maybe I don't want this tree anymore. Oh, we were. Oh my god, we were just freaking there. Oh, right there. Hit it. Boom. We need. Is there a a log falling sound mod chat? That needs to be a thing if it's not already. That is way too quiet. All right, we've cut a bunch of logs. We're gonna have to clean that up eventually. <laughs> there's just there's just logs laying around that we gotta go pick up and stumps, which is gonna be a headache later on. But man, how far did we go? Bro, we went all the way up in there. There's like no trees left. We're destroying the entire forest. All right, I've done this one. I want to try the other one over there. It might be harder. I'm not sure if it's harder or easier. So um, we I used this one in my video earlier, but I want to try the other crane to see if that one's easier or harder. I'm still learning this whole logging thing, so I don't really know what equipment I like or prefer. So, gotta try it out, right? So this was on a track, not like an excavator. Start it up. So I can rotate it. Uh, but I am using the wheel to drive still, so. Where are we going? Which way is front? Is this way? I think front is this way. Okay, yeah, that's the way it's front. All right, so we're gonna put some logs into there. That's all we need to do. <laughs> Sounds simple, right? Sure. Uh, let's turn. Now, obviously, you wouldn't drive a piece of equipment like this with a steering wheel, but it is what it is. Alright, alright. Let's play the crane game. This is gonna be interesting. How do I do this? Uh Okay. Alright, that does twist, alright. Okay, that goes up and down. Sweet. How do I open it up? Alright, that opens. Oh, the claw! The claw! Oh, this is gonna be fun. Alright, can I just pick up one log? Let's pick up one log. Maybe two. Can we get two for the price of one? Da -da. Okay, it kind of grips it a little bit. I'm really surprised it hasn't fallen out. So before it does, let's get it in there. I am really surprised it has not fallen out. Slow, slow. Easy, bruv. Okay, I can go higher. We can go higher. How do you get Volvo in a farming simulator? I don't know. Uh, is it not part of the game? Alright, higher. If we can get that back, that back one in there. It's just in a weird angle right now. So let's see if we can go this way. Drop it down. Okay, it's just outside of it. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Alright, left. It's like kind of dangling as well.
Oh, is this from the Platinum expansion? Okay, thanks. I'm still freaking outside. Oh my god, I was gonna drop it. Down, down. Down. Oh, now it's on the other side. Alright, easy. Right there. Alright, now it's in. Turn. This is taking some brain power here. If I can get that one in there, I'm pretty happy. Gotta twist it some more. Oh, not, not like that. Oh, wait, I can twist. I forgot I can twist it. I forgot I can twist it. There we go. Now drop it in. No, not like that. All right, we got a good hand. Nope. Yeah, first day on the job, guys. Oh, drop, 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 drop. Almost. Almost. That's in there. That's in there. That's in there. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Just gotta, like, move it over a little bit more. <laughs> oh my god, this has to be hard to watch. This has to be hard. Okay, so drop. I'm back. There we go. Alright, open it up. Nope, not like that. Like that. There it is! <sighs> now we have a hundred more logs to go. <laughs> Let's see if we can get another handful. I'm surprised we got that one, to be honest. I am really surprised we even got that one. Let's see if we can get these two big logs right here. Hey, can I do it from the inside of you? That's going to be even harder. Yeah, that's going to be impossible. They have no depth perception. If this was VR, that would be sick. I am. We're going to go for those two. Right there. Front and center. Alright. Drop the claw. Hold on. We're, we're right there. We're right. We're right there. Alright, how many can I, of these can I grab at once? Uh, the camera is like. in the way. <laughs> okay. Close. Uh, I don't know, man. Oh, I think we might. It might slip off here. Let's see if we got anything. Nope, nothing. Oh, you know why? Because I just closed it. I opened it. Alright, it's the other way. There we go. There we go. Alright. Up. Oh. No freaking way. We just grabbed like six bricks. Yeah, you know, I'm actually surprised too they haven't implemented VR. Maybe in the next rendition of Farming Sim we'll get VR. Maybe. I'm actually proud of myself right now. I am actually proud of myself. All right. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. They're falling out. They're falling out. All right, some of them are in, some of them are not. I don't want to have to clean up later. So let's raise it, bring it to me, drop it, there we go, drop it, bring it to me, rotate, to the right, down, rotate, bro, we're getting it, we are getting it, that's a whole, man, that's a whole stack right there, all right, one more. Third round. I'm, I'm legit proud of myself right now. I really am. I should get... I, I deserve a raise. 
Right, Jeremy? I think I deserve a raise. And the sun is setting, which is beautiful right now, I have to say. Alright, down. I'll tell you this, this thing, this machine, is way easier than the other one, that other front loader thing. Um, like, this one, whenever you actually, like, put the clamp around the wood, like, it actually grips it. The other one, that massive one behind me, just kind of, like, slips out. So I that's why, that's why I like this one so far. Alright, let's see if we can get a, another good stack here. Right there. Oh, a little bit closer. Right there. There we go. I want that. I want that. Only got like two. Yeah, let's open back up. Try it again. The claw. Uh, is it hard to work with trees? It's not easy. Um, it takes some practice. It's like one of the only things in farming simulator that actually requires a, a bit of skill. All right, drop it right there, right there, right there. Can I can I get that? Can I get that? Can I get that? Oh yeah, I got it. I freaking got it. I right, and you can also tell that because it's like more on the right than the left, it's also uh like weighing down one side and the other. Which is nice that it simulates that. Uh Brandon, I'm on PC right now. Uh the game is available on console. Oh no, we lost one. I do not want to pick that up. The game is available on console, but I'm playing on PC right now. Uh oh. A little bit sticking out. There we go. Drop it right there. There we go. Alright, so we lost one. So we can pick that up. See how hard that's going to be. I like this thing. I like this uh, machine so far. This is going to be my go-to for now for getting stuff in uh, in the trailer. At least for now. Uh, can the wheel wheel holder tilt forward? Yes, it can. Just like that. And it goes farther. It's just it, st it hits my lap because uh, I have it mounted so low. If you were mounted higher or mounted on the desk. Um, you could get it to go much lower. But yeah, it goes up and down. All you gotta do is twist this knob here. And that's it. Alright, so we can get that thing over there. Is it too far though? Uh, this map is from the Platinum expansion pack. It's called Silver Run Forest. So it's not technically a free map, it's part of the premium or deluxe edition, whatever they call it. Platinum edition, sorry. But I'm sure there's some really good uh, free maps out there for logging as well, which I'm actually going to be looking to get into since I'm now learning about logging. There we go. I'll grab that. And twist it. There we go. Bro, I'm, I'm getting good at this. Still not a pro, nowhere near pro status, but the fact that I got logs on the truck is an accomplishment to me. There we go. Sweet. And now what we can do is we can take that truck off to the sawmill and uh, get some money for it if we wanted to. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to have a lot of logs out here um, that still need to be brought down the hill and uh, that's gonna take a while but uh, guys this has been fun thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you have any final questions before I head out let me know um, again if you guys want to do uh, some um, 
uh, farming multiplayer in the future, uh, definitely hit me on Discord so that next time I do a live stream, uh, we can see we can organize a multiplayer session so I can do this with some help. Um, the name of this game is Farming Simulator 22. Uh, how did I get the Farm 6 Thrustmaster sent it to me? Uh, it's available on November 15th. You can pre-order it now. If you want to, obviously. Um, do I recommend it? Yes. If you are, are your farming sim is like your thing, it's a must-have in my opinion. I have another video I posted just yesterday um, with a few more thoughts on the stick and, uh, and testing it out and whatnot. So you can check that out on the YouTube channel if you want. Um, what else? I have another video coming out. I'm not sure when I'm going to release it yet. It's already been edited. But um, about the farm stick and some more thoughts on it. Uh, the name of this game is Farming Simulator 22. Farming Simulator 22, for those who are asking. What's up, Jeremy? Welcome to the stream. Yes, they are sneakily comparing with that other. There's another um, another um, farming like set that's coming to the market, like I think in November as well, actually, um, which is going to be interesting. I think it's like a wheel and some other stuff like that. So I'm curious of you know how good that's actually going to be. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh, wow, really? So, <laughs> so the HORI set comes out on the 16th, and then this kit comes out on the 15th. So, yeah, that is quite sneaky there that Thrustmaster did that. But, well, guys, this has been fun. Um, we should be live again tomorrow, same time. Uh, we may not be farming, though. I'm not sure if we'll be farming or doing something else. So we'll see. Maybe we'll even do construction sim. I don't know. Depends on how I'm feeling tomorrow. I do go out of town next week again, so I will not be streaming next week. I'll be going to uh, a full-scale 737 cockpit. We'll be doing multi-crew operations in person. Uh, so that will actually not be streamed on my channel, although I might sneak it on the TikTok. We'll see. Um, but... Uh, it'll be over on the World Flight YouTube, which I need to get the link to. Um, but it's going to be, I'll, I'll give you the links and all that info on Discord and on my community page and on social media and whatnot. So stay tuned for that. I'm looking forward to it. I'll definitely be posting crazy amounts of stories about it. Um, and yeah, it's going to be really fun. I, have, I can't wait to fly a full scale 737 simulator that's gonna be so cool so can't wait for that that'll be next week stay tuned for that again we'll be live again tomorrow same time same place thank you paul donovan good to see you. uh would i ever do the f1 game maybe 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 <laughs> i'm just gonna say maybe paul i do love f1 but i'm not sure if i'm gonna stream it or not so uh that's it for me guys you guys are amazing i hope you guys enjoyed the stream until next time remember you have Three choices, give up, give in, or give it all you got. Uh, hold on a second, what is this? Yeah, give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys next time, next video. We out, baby. Sheesh.